Hey everybody, it is Jenny from MilkmaidBaby.com, R-N-I-B-C-L-C. I'm doing a quick video for all you moms that might go through the frustration where you pump and you store your milk and then you go to give it to your baby and they're like, <coughs> and then you smell your milk and it smells rancid. So that could be a condition of excess lipase. Um, that is the enzyme that breaks down the fat. When you have a lot of it, it breaks down the fat quickly and rapidly and it doesn't make your milk taste good. Sometimes you'll hear the term soapy milk or metallic milk and this is a solution if you find yourself in, the, in that position. So hopefully you don't have to pump a ton, but if you do, what you can do is scald the milk. 180 degrees, if you have a thermometer, is the temperature that you're gonna want the milk to be at to get rid of that excess lipase. If you don't have a thermometer, a little bubbling around the pot or pan, um, that is your telltale sign it's at the right temperature. Not a boil, but like a light bubbling around the, around the rim of the milk. Trying to get to that for you, to show you. Um, now remember, 180 degrees is not what you feed your baby that temperature, you rise the heat, let it cool then. You can store it however you'd like and your milk should not go sour. Um, it's not really sour, I just mean it won't taste sour. If it doesn't bother baby, then it's not a big deal at all. It's just if they refuse it, then you wanna do something about it. Um, but it doesn't harm the baby to have excess lipase, if that makes sense. I'm adjusting my pants right now. Anyway, sorry Nathan's not in this video. I don't condone cooking and baby wearing, but he'll make a cameo in the next one because I know that's really why you watch. And I'll attach a video of the light bubbling just for a visual cue because it's not doing it yet and I don't feel like standing here forever. Okay, have a good one. Happy Mother's Day.